Hey, peace, 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 everyone. Okay, um, taking my daily stroll, right? But I get a lot of people asking me, what am I doing with this Forex? What is this Forex thing? What is this that you're doing, right? I'm just gonna show y'all while I'm out of breath though. This hill is serious. I'm not doing the park today, I'm doing the neighborhood. So I'm on Clinton Avenue right now, taking this hill and talking. Walking and talking. Anyway, so basically I know I'm doing Forex trading, right? And when you ask people what is Forex, the technical definition is foreign exchange of currency, foreign currency. So if I was on my way to Japan, I have US dollars, right? I'm gonna let the bus pass. And he watching me while he driving. And I have US dollars. So I'm gonna trade those US dollars for Japanese yen so that I can spend money. You can't spend dollars in Japan. So you have to exchange your US dollars for Japanese yen for the current market, right? So that's basically what you're doing. You're saying, I wanna trade this US dollars for this Japanese yen, because it's, it's, the Japanese yen is going up, so you wanna buy. If the Japanese yen is going down, you wanna sell it. So you usually sell when you leave Japan. When you leave Japan, you give them the Japanese yen back for your US currency. And hopefully you're doing it <laughs> when the yen going down. Otherwise you're gonna lose money, right? So that basically that's what you're doing on a trading platform. You're trading one currency for another. And you could trade pounds, British pounds, euros, Canadian dollar, Australian dollar, US dollar, Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar, <laughs> and Japanese yen, and Swiss, Swiss francs. So those are the main currencies. Now you can also in Forex, you could also trade stocks, you could trade gold, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all those different things. It depends on the platform that you're on. Me personally, I stick with just the currency because I tried gold before and it took all my money. <laughs> so I stick with currency. So that's basically what the definition of Forex trading is. But it's much more than that. If you look at it, Forex trading is a tool used for financial freedom, right? So let's take the stock market. The stock market is a billion dollar industry. And in those billions of dollars, they've created multiple millionaires, right? So Forex stock market is actually a $6.6 .6 trillion industry. So if that's a trillion dollar industry, how many billionaires could it possibly produce? That's how I look at it. And it's people making mad money in regular stock markets. So just think, if they're making that much money in the stock market, how much money can you make in the Forex market? So that's why I trade Forex. Plus, Forex is not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Determined by all of these different events. The events that's going on will only affect the forex market for that day so if today they say we're going to war whatever market you're on depend well it'll be a u.s dollar the u.s dollar will plummet i guess i think that's how it works <laughs> i don't think it will rise if we're going to war so i think the u.s dollar will plummet so that would affect the trade if you're in it for that day but it's not going to change the entire market forever like what we're going through with the stocks right people losing their money and all of that crazy shit, losing a pension and all of that. That doesn't happen with the Forex market. So, <laughs> I trade the Forex market. One, my money is more stable and I'm only gonna lose based on my analysis, based on what I determine. Or if I'm trading with other people, <laughs> we trade as a group. So if I'm with the group, then we're going to buy what Taz is, right? <laughs> or if I'm getting an alert from somebody else, because you can get alerts as well from other people and they'll give you the trades that they're trading. But if they're making a lot of money, you're willing to lose one trade to win seven or six. You know what I'm saying? So that's what the Forex market does. 
it basically gives financial freedom. So right now my average is $100 a day. So I'm trying to grow that. Uh, disclaimer, results not typical. Your average could be negative $100 a day. <laughs> so I'm just saying what I'm doing personally, I'm making 100 a day, but I'm still trying to get to that 10K, right? But what that 10K requires is for you to be mentally ready to trade $5 a trade, $6 a trade. <laughs> so the more you trade, once you get to $10, it's real serious because it's 10 times 10. So if you do 10 pips, that's $100 win. But however, if it goes in the opposite direction, you're going to lose $100 and you're going to get scared when that shit go down, when you see your account drop $100. So I'm still on the, I haven't gone past five dollars since before when i first started i actually took sixty dollars to three grand again results not typical i was doing the ten dollar um the ten dollar spread i mean the ten dollar lot size but for some reason after losing as much as i lost i'm like damn i done got scared to do regular lot sizes anyway so i haven't gone on a five over five dollars right now so my average is one hundred dollars a week i mean a hundred dollars a day but the point is you can determine your own wealth. You can determine how much you're willing to make a day. You know what I'm saying? If you start your, plus I started my account low. So this account, I started at $200. So it's not a lot of money. So with $200, I'm only gonna do $2 lot sizes. Cause it's like one to a thousand to be comfortable, right? When I got to the 3,000, I wasn't doing one to a thousand. I was doing one to 3,000, <laughs> but it was all good anyway so you determine how much you want you want to spend and that's basically it how much do you want to put into your account if you want to start your account with three hundred dollars then i would say start your start your um lot sizes like half so do like to be comfortable do like 0.15 which is a dollar fifty um unless you're trading with someone who's already making it then you could probably risk more because they're giving you their analysis, right? But if, but if, first of all, if you're not using anybody, I say do a 0 .01, which is 10 cents. <laughs> Don't spend more than 10 cents a lot size until you figure it out. But you really should be in a demo and then get to the real money. But if you're going to start with real money, start with like 10 cents just to see if you know what you're doing. So, yeah, so that's what Forex is. Forex is a tool used for financial independency, financial freedom. It's a, it's a, it's a skill set. I'm telling you, when I look at the charts, me and Tessie done found a new way. <laughs> well, first of all, we was already doing kind of, we was doing like the 20 pips, but if you do 10 pips per trade, it's so much, it, that's what got me to the hundred dollars. I was like, damn, this shit was so easy. We actually did only eight trades and I made a hundred dollars in the, um, this was yesterday. We did eight trades and I made a hundred. So if you make it simple, when you figure out the simple way to do this, then that's what it becomes, very simple. If, you're, if you make it difficult in your head before you get started, then it's going to be difficult to understand. But it's really not. I ain't even checked the... Hey, Ken, many, many blessings to you. Peace, peace, peace. So that's what Forex is. That is what I'm doing. I'm trading currency. And I'm doing it at my own leisure. We get in when we're ready to get in. We get out when we're ready to get out. Between five and six, we don't trade because the spreads change. So we wait until six o'clock and then we'll look for maybe one more trade, get in it, get out of it quickly, hopefully. And then we're done. Uh, which block do I want to go down there? I, you know what? I ain't going that way. I'm going this way. All right. <laughs> so how you doing? So that's basically it. That's what I do on the trades. I, um, trade currency at the price that I set. So if I lose, I lose because of my choices. When I win, I win because of my choices. No one else is determining my wealth. No one is telling me how much money I can make. I make it on my own. I think I'm gonna turn down this block. I'm just walking. <laughs> and that's what it is. So if y'all like what I'm doing, I'm trying to share some of the information with y'all to see that it's not no fugues, that is real, real talk, real shit. This is what we doing. We popping out here in the hood. It's like, no, um, I am in the hood right now, though. Look, I'm, I'm steady walking down these blocks. I ain't that, wait. I'm just walking. I'm just walking. Hoo-wee. 
eat and I'm tired. And guess what else? I'm hungry. I don't think it's good to walk when you're hungry. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is because I'm in Irvington, I'm gonna stop at Joe's Pizza. So do it make sense to walk and then get pizza? That might be a little um, contradictory. <laughs> but that's what I'm gonna do. So that's pretty much it. This is what Forex is. It's a tool for independency. It's a tool for financial freedom. It's a tool to grow your wealth, your prosperity, to help your family. It's real. You're gonna start small. It's gonna look like little chump change, but I'm telling you that chump change add up. Ask Desi, cause she started with some chump change. That shit start adding up. So you can start with chump change, let it add up. So you get to the point where you're comfortable to, to start trading bigger lot sizes. So this is not queen. I thank y'all for watching. I love y'all so much. Wish you much peace and blessings. And if you're ready to get started, hit me up in my inbox or you can comment below and I'll hit you up. And that's what it is. Talk to y'all later. Peace.